Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Savannah if you are new here and today we are starting a brand new challenge and I have been preparing for this challenge for Holy crap, I want to say like three or four weeks. So I'm really really excited to get started today We are doing the not so berry challenge if you've never heard of the not so berry challenge. It is a legacy style challenge <laughs> where every generation is based on a color. Hi Olive! This is Olive. So if you can't tell, the first generation is mint. That is why we are very mint themed today. I kind of wanted to like make it special for each generation. So for every generation, we're gonna have different color hair, different color lights, the whole thing. Let me give you a tiny, tiny, tiny overview. I'm just gonna go over the basics of it and then I'm gonna talk a little bit about the first generation as well. As we move through each generation, I will give you an overview before we start, just so you guys know what to expect. So basically, this is a challenge that was created by Lil Simsy and another creator, another simmer called Always Simming. So let me read you the little <laughs> snippet they have at the beginning of the challenge rules. Do you like the rainbow? Do you like the idea of playing with Barry Sims but hate Barry Sims? Do you want to mess around with aspects of the game you've never used before? Boy, do I have the challenge for you. This is right up my alley, you guys, because I always like to do new things in The Sims. There's so many aspects of the game that I personally haven't explored and I've been playing it for ever. <laughs> so I'm really excited to try new things. So basically, it's a 10 generation legacy with a focus on bright colors and new experiences. Each heir must represent the color of the generation, their hair, their makeup, their clothing, but brightly colored skin is not necessary. That's why it's called the not so berry challenge is because you don't have to have a berry sim, which means that their like skin color is like bright. The color of the spouses don't matter as they aren't a part of the challenge. Money cheats can be used, but not excessively. Use free real estate for your first home, but no cheats afterwards. So yeah, I already built the home, uh, just the base of it. I'm really excited to show you guys. It's very mint. It's very, very mint, but yeah, I just, I went all out with it, so it's a pretty lavish home, but I'm excited to show you anyway. You may live wherever you please unless some something is specified in the rules. Each generation is supposed to complete both the career and the aspiration of the heir unless explicitly stated otherwise. Keep the lifespan on normal. This is gonna be so hard, you guys. It's so hard to do an aspiration and a career in one, like, normal lifespan. I'm stressed. I'm already stressed. <laughs> That's pretty much it, you guys. That is the basis of it. And every generation has their own rules, which I said we'll go over as we get to them. Really excited to start this. It has been a long time coming and I love legacy, like generation style challenges. They're my favorites. And again, if you're new here, my name is Savannah. I have loads of Sims content on my channel. I have a bunch of Let's Plays. I sometimes do speed builds and I love to do cast challenges as well. So if that is something you're interested in, it would mean the world to me if you could come and subscribe and join the family. I do have a Celsius today, you guys. I have sparkling wild berry. I've never tried this flavor. Okay, so on Twitch, I had one of those like powder sticks that you put in water and it like turns into juice, but that one wasn't sparkling and I really liked it, but this one is sparkling. So let's do a little taste test on camera here. Here you go. <laughs> Some ASMR for you. Cheers to this new challenge. I'm so excited. Huh. It's good, but it does taste different than the powder sticks, which is weird. Pretty good though. I don't think I'd ever buy it again, but pretty good. Anyways, you guys, enough rambling for me. Let's hop into Create a Sim so I can show you guys the sim that I made for our mint generation. Again, I'm so freaking stoked to be doing this challenge. I'm so excited to start something new and I hope you guys are excited as well. So let's get into it. All right, you guys. So here we are in Create a Sim and here is our mint sim. I love her so very much and thank you to everyone who came to the Twitch stream to help me make her. Also, thank you for coming to the Twitch stream where we built the house or kind of built the house. I appreciate all your guys' input. So yeah, this is our mint generation. Her description or the generation description says, you're a mischievous scientist that really loves the color mint. You're career driven, but still make time for silly pranks and outings with your closest friends. You love luxury, want the best for yourself, Oh, you love luxury and you want the best for yourself and for your family. Um, the traits are already mapped out. Vegetarian, jealous, materialistic. They're all green, which makes total sense. 
Her aspiration is chief of mischief and her career path is going to be scientist. That's really exciting because I don't, I think I've only ever done the scientist once and it was forever ago, so I don't even remember. <laughs> the rules are master the scientist career and complete the chief of mischief aspiration, master mischief and logic skills, and complete the elements collection. Whew. I mean, I've read these rules before, but it's now, it's just now hitting me like how difficult this is going to be and how much grinding and how much work this is going to take. And we need to meet a man and we need to have a, the second generation. Uh, this should be fun, guys. I'm excited. I'm excited to embark on this journey with you. Okay, so her name is Andy Berry. <laughs> um... I got some help from my Discord of what we should name her. It was really, really tricky thinking of a cute name that, like, was associated with, like, the color mint. And one of the people in Discord, her name is Angelica. Sh shout out to you, Angelica. She suggested Andy, like Andy's mints. Like the mints that you get at Olive Garden after your meal. If you've never tried an Andy's mint, you're seriously missing out. But that was the whole, that was like the inspiration for her name. And then we just decided to give her last name Barry for the Not So Berry Challenge, but we just like put a spin on it and spelt it differently. <laughs> So for the base sim, I found two sims from my hashtag simsav on the gallery. I found a male and a female and I made them have a baby together and that is how we got this beautifulness right here. <laughs> There's also something that I wanted to mention about her. So um, I think with the color mint, it's like a spectrum. On one end of the spectrum, you have like a green toned mint and on the other end of the spectrum, you have like a blue toned mint. I would say with Andy, I went more blue toned, like way more winter mint versus spearmint, if that makes any sense at all. I know that a lot of people will look at this and say, oh, that's just like light blue, but I see, I see like a cool toned mint. Yeah, so that's my explanation for that. A lot of her outfits are in this like color palette here. I throw in some spring, okay, let's just say sprinkle in some green toned mint here and there. So let me show you her outfits. If you're new to my channel, I use a lot of CC in my building and in Create a Sim, so you're just you're gonna see a lot of CC. So this is her first outfit. I for her I had this like very clean, neat, just very neat and like very put together style for her. And since she likes luxury and she's materialistic, I I don't know. I think like more high end clothes suited her personality. And she's also like super buff. Uh, she just came that way, so we were like, okay, let's keep it. <laughs> so yeah, she has a six pack. I love this outfit right here. It's just very, very cute. Um, okay, and then there's this one. She she has a like a 70s vibe for a lot of her outfits as well, which I'm a big fan of. Again, thank you to everyone who came to the Twitch stream and helped me <laughs> dress her. She has a lot of outfits, you guys. I went a little ham on her just because, I don't know, we're gonna be with her for a while and it's a new challenge and I'm just real excited. So here are her formal outfits. Very, very just like crisp, you know? Just crisp is what all I gotta say. Uh, this is her athletic wear. I love this so much. It's so cute. This is definitely more blue, but eh, it's okay. It's fine. Okay, I gave her a few sleepwear outfits because we definitely do see our sims a lot in sleepwear. These ones are definitely not as neat. Um, actually, wait, there's this like full body sleepwear. This one, does this come in mint? I mean, that's definitely more green, but I love this so much that I'm going to keep it. <laughs> Let's move on to party wear. Love this dress. If you watch my eco lifestyle series, y'all know I love this dress so much. Here's number two. It's this is a this looks more formal, but maybe it's like a fancy party she's going to. I don't know. I don't know. And here's number three, also very very fancy. Um, swimwear. She just has a few. See, I told you guys she has a six pack. Like, look at that. Holy cannoli. Goals, honestly. <laughs> I love this as well. So very cute. Here's our hot weather outfits. This hat is mwah, chef's kiss, absolutely everything. And here is number two. Threw on some Yeezys, cause why not? <laughs> 
All right, cold weather outfit, so cute, so, so, so cute. And here is number two. I love this as well, so adorable. Thing, I don't know, I just, I love this outfit a lot. So yeah, you guys, that's Andy. I hope that you guys like her. <laughs> I'm really excited to play with her. I have been waiting so long for this moment, so long. All right, so. This is the lot that I chose. This is my favorite lot. One of my favorite lots in the game, actually. It is in Oasis Springs, and it's in, like, this, like, gated community area with this, like, roundabout. Yeah, it's just really nice. I like that it's on grass, because most of Oasis Springs is, like, desert, but this area has grass, which I like. And I went really super modern with the house style. So I found this shell on the gallery. Uh, hold on, let me see if I can... Get the name for you simple lines modern shell is what it is i just searched modern shell <laughs> and i got the one that i liked the most i just changed the outside to make it mint i hope that you guys like the outside so far so let's head inside i'm warning you guys it's so very mint it's like someone threw up had a bunch of like 50 million packs of gum and just like spewed everywhere <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's head inside. I'm so excited for you guys to see this. Okay, so we have a foyer here. It's uh, pretty plain right now, but I do plan on adding more stuff as the house becomes more lived in. We just have a very simple half bath off of the foyer here. And then we go through this archway or whatever you want to call it. And we have the dining area. Very mint. I'm going to say very mint a lot. <laughs> in this let's play i already know it so yeah everything's very clean everything's like super pristine super neat it's just her vibe i guess uh minimalist hopefully you guys agree um and then over here we have the living area again super minimal right now but i, I think we'll probably add more stuff as it becomes more lived in and then we have the kitchen through here, which is probably my favorite room. I don't know. I just really like the vibe of it. And everything is like extremely mint, of course. <laughs> okay. And then I guess we can go outside for now because we're downstairs. This is the outer backyard area. <laughs> I put mint candles in the pool because why not? You know, why not? We've got a little laying out area. We've got an outside dining area and a grill. I just, uh, I just really like this lot, you guys. It's so beautiful. I just really love the landscaping and like the backdrop. Ah, uh, I don't know. Everything is just so pretty. Through there, we have the door or we have the stairs to the basement. I'll show you guys that last. Um, I'll show you guys the upstairs right now. I had so much trouble with the upstairs just because um, it was such like a big open floor plan that I just, I don't know, I couldn't figure out how to divide the space, but I figured it out in the end. Okay, so up the stairs we go. Firstly, we have this little foyer. I don't even know if it's called a foyer because it's upstairs. It's just like this like open area um big old bookshelves because she is going to be a scientist so i just kind of assumed she's smart and likes to read <laughs> here's her desk area with a very nice view if i do say so myself i think it's so funny how her house is so different from everyone else's houses in the neighborhood it's super modern while all these other houses are like spanish style it's fine though it's cool no worries Around the corner here, we've got ourselves a little functional bar cart and a seating area. Just uh, vibes, you know? I don't know. Like, she could just sit here with a friend or with a date, have some wine, chit chat, whatever. She could sit here, read a book with the fireplace on and just have this lovely view. <laughs> what is happening out there? All of them have claimed a bench. <laughs> Looks like they're about to fight to the death. Anyway, this is the door to her bedroom. I'm not a huge fan of the bedroom. I just didn't know what to do with it, but it is what it is. I plan on getting a lot of fish. I love getting fish in The Sims now. It's just very, very, very fun. 
So yeah, we have the bed. We've got another seating area with another fireplace. And you guys will see that out here as well. Another seating area with another fireplace. <laughs> There's a treadmill around the corner over there. Nothing very exciting. But I do want to put more stuff out here at some point. I just don't know what yet. But we will get there. Um, and then through this walkway, we have her walk-in mm, absolutely massive closet. I love that those tables are glitching, but it's fine. <laughs> I, whoa, oh, I forgot I put mirrors here. So it looks a lot bigger, doesn't it? It looks like you can just like walk through to more closet, but no, it's just the mirrors. Wow. Okay, okay, okay. Very cool. Wait, what is happening with that? I need to fix that. Sorry. I should have did a proof walk before filming this. <laughs> and then there's another walkway here to the bathroom. Uh, so here we have the bath and the shower. And then over here we have just the sink and a little vanity area. And the toilet. Yeah, I think that is it. I just need to fix that little closet space there. Yeah, guys, that's it for the house. I hope that you like it. I really, really hope that you like it because it took me... It took me so long. <laughs> oh, well, it's working now. What was that about? Oh, no, it's not working. Okay, hang on. Let me fix it. All right. That'll do, guys. That'll do. So, first things first. Let's give Miss Andy here her scientist career. Scientist career. I'm really, really excited for this. It's uh, it's been it's been a minute since I've done this career. So here we go. Find a job. What do you have to do though? Watch romance. Oh, girl. There'll be plenty of time for that. Okay, scientist. Check, check, and check. Okay. Also, you guys, I put some of your Sims from the gallery in my game. I plan on putting more, but I put a few families here and there. Uh, okay. I don't remember. I think it might have been this house. I put two girls who are famous social media influencers. They are five star celebrities. Or did I make them four star? I think I might have made them five star celebrities and they ha they are at the top of the social media career. So they are influencers, if you will. Um, and then I think in this house we have... In one of these houses, we have a single dad with a son, and I forget who I put in the other house, but I'll show you guys later. I'll definitely show you guys later to see if it was one of your sims that made it in, <laughs> which is really exciting. I'm going to go ahead and lock the door for everyone but household members for now. Okay, so <laughs> have two breakthroughs. This Okay, so let me just refresh myself about what we need to be doing. Chief of Mischief for Aspiration, and we need to master the mischief and logic skills. So, oh, I forgot to show you guys the basement. It's really nothing special. Like, we don't need to have, like, this grand tour of it. But I just put a bunch of stuff from Get to Work down here. And a desk, uh, whatever that thing is. We got a little TV. And then I thought it would be kind of cool to, like, grow. If we were able to get our hands on, like, an alien plant, I think it would be fun to grow in the lab. I don't know. I don't know. It's just little things, you know? Play Sim Scuffle. Okay, sure, you do that. But, like, can we interact with any of this, like, labby stuff to work on logic skill? Uh, oh, so this is for a doctor. Okay, not sure why we have that. What's this? What is this? So all we can do is view it. Oh, I think if we view it, do we get a breakthrough? Is that what that light bulb means? Because we need to have two breakthroughs for our career. Breakthroughs can happen almost any time that the scientist is in a contemplative state for example while gardening reading or performing experiences wait performing experiences oh experiments okay what is this practice analysis okay since she's materialistic we can click on pretty much anything and admire our new possession <laughs> which i think is kind of funny uh what skill is this helping her with logic okay well you keep doing that girl because we need that logic skill we need it maxed like asap ASAP Rocky, if you will. Not so berry, not so berry. Let's go, let's go, not so berry. I don't know why I'm so excited, I just am. It's like, oh, we had a breakthrough. Andy Berry had her first breakthrough and wrote down an idea for a mo momentum conserver. Click on the notebook button at the top of the phone menu to learn more about it. Honestly, say less, let's have a look. 
Oh, what is this? This is our phone case. Mm, let's change it to the closest thing to mint. That? <laughs> sure. Okay, uh, notebook. Congratulations on starting your element collection. Wait, what do you mean? We have an element? <gasps> oh my god, we have an element. Where did we get that from? While analyzing, Andy found a new element. I didn't realize uh, that was a thing. You know what else we need though? I'm gonna get rid of this doctor thing. I didn't know that was for a doctor. <laughs> and I'm gonna get the element um, stand or board, whatever you wanna call it. Uh, let's see. Element display rack. This bad boy right here. All right. And then we just drag the element into it, right? Yeah, there you go. So exciting. So very exciting. Anyway, uh, where was that notebook contraption? Ah, here we go. Scientist career. Momentum conserver. No ingredients required. This device will keep going indefinitely once started unless it is manipulated by human hands. Too bad it doesn't actually do anything, it just spins. Okay. That literally told me nothing, but whatever. Hey, we got another element. <gasps> Holy cannoli! This machine is amazing! We're gonna finish this element collection in no time. What? Why? How come it's not- how come I can't store it? Okay, we already have that, so I'm just gonna sell this duplicate that we have. I'm very annoyed. Hmm. Okay, I'll give it a little bit of time then. Or does she need to do something to it before I can add it? I don't know, guys, but I'm gonna let her keep doing- Oh my gosh, she has a light bulb above her head. Ooh, 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 a second breakthrough! Wrote down an idea for synthetic food serum. Click on the notebook button. Okay, a new element as well. Holy cannoli, we are killing it. Oh, speaking of killing it, I need to set our money back down to... I'm gonna give her $2,000. I have my the money so high because I needed money to like build the house however I wanted. So yeah, we're just gonna start with 2,000 just so things aren't like super easy for us and we're not automatically rich from, from the start because that's no fun. Also, you guys, I have mods in my game if you are new here. I have Wonderful Whims installed. I have Slice of Life. Oh, okay, so that one works, but this one won't. Hmm, interesting. But yeah, I have Slice of Life, I've got- I've got a bunch of mods, so <laughs> if my game runs a little weird, that's why. Or if I have like extra things, that's why. I haven't experimented much with Wonderful Whims, but I'm super excited to like get more into it. But yeah, it comes with like an all new attraction system, which honestly like so stoked because anything that will like boost a sim's personality i'm all for it all right darling so she's feeling like super hungry and anti-social or she needs social so let's go ahead and have a really late dinner i'm gonna get her to have veggie dumplings actually hold on a minute since she's like super buff and very like conscious of the way that she looks i'm gonna try my hardest to uh have her eat extremely clean i think that would be kind of fun and challenging just something else to pay attention to also you guys if you're new here my camera it stops recording after 30 minutes and sometimes i don't realize so if my camera cuts out here and there that's why how was that salad what Normal quality, holy cannoli. She's a natural cook, guys. The first meal that she's ever cooked, normal quality. Oh, 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 Caleb's here. Is he gonna suck our blood or is he just trying to like be a friend? I mean, we do need some socialization. All right, let's give him a friendly introduction. I'll go ahead, unlock the door for him. I've never had an issue with Caleb. He seems nice. Ooh, here we go, guys. Here we go. This is from the Wonderful Whims mod. 
Andy Barry shows signs of the greedy and lover personality types. Greedy Sims focus on generating as much revenue as possible and saving as much capital as possible, no matter the consequences, but their stingy approach to reality makes them appear selfish, envious, and villainous. Okay, why does that freaking suit her so much? Because she's materialistic? Hell yeah, guys. I'm excited. Oh, I forgot to buy a trash can. <laughs> Um, okay, and then lover sims crave intimacy, live to experience pleasure, and are very passionate. Nonetheless, with their desire to evoke love in others, they risk losing their own identity and appear shallow. Dudes, I'm tripping at how perfect this is. Oh, and we got Caleb's as well. Innocent. Um, and we have to discover the other one, but oh my gosh, that's so funny. I love, I love, love, love anything, like I said, that gives Sims more personality. Ask about health? I mean, sure, why not? Let's get to, get to know him a little bit, um, because her social need is quite low. I just want to get it up. I'm all clean, no need to fear catching anything nasty from me. Oh, that kind of health. Right. Express materialistic thoughts, express passion for romance. Holy cannoli, this is so cool. I haven't actually played Sims in a while, you guys. If you don't know, I am in un currently in university right now. Oh, did he just like let himself in? Oh, okay. Yeah, let's watch. Let's watch. Uh, let's watch uh, TV with him. But yeah, if you guys don't know, I am currently enrolled in university. I am studying graphic design right now, and uh, it's like, oh, he scooted closer to us, and she dipped. Honestly. That's a mood. <laughs> What's she doing? Oh, she gotta go potty. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's like engulfing my life. So I can't play The Sims as much as I want to. I can't film videos as much as I want to. And it makes me sad because filming videos is like my favorite thing ever. Why are you going upstairs to watch? Watch Civil Public Access. Oh, okay. She's asleep. Okay. Um, you should probably tell Caleb to like leave before you go to bed. How about? How about let's try and play pretty realistically. <laughs> Send Caleb home. Goodbye. You may go now. Bye, sir. Please leave. Okay. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. So let's go ahead and lock the door again. And yeah, let's, let's go back to bed. Let us go back to bed. And you should start thinking about further education. No. <laughs> oh, let me turn on auto lights as well, just to save on bills and things. And I have another mod as well. It's the Sims loot box. So it's pretty much like a, uh, like a monthly subscription box in real life, but it's like every week for the Sims. And I really like it because you get like a whole bunch of random things in it every Monday or every Saturday or something like that. And I just love it. So I'm going to activate that for this Let's Play as well. What are you going to have? Cheese crackers? No, no, no. No, no. You're supposed to eat clean. You're supposed to be... You're supposed to be... Perfecto. Have some fruit salad. Huh? Oh, it's time for my birthday party to start. Can you still come? An 8 a.m. birthday party? We haven't even had breakfast yet. Shoot. Well, it went away. It, it, I, I, I was leaning more towards no anyway. <laughs> we need to focus on our career. Bro! Oh my god, I thought you had a birthday party right now, Caleb. Now you want to go to breakfast? He was probably lying, honestly, about the party. I'm not trying to have relations. Oh, and we have work in an hour. Okay, well, I'm glad we said no. <laughs> I'm not trying to have relations with Caleb. I just wanted a friend and uh, we got our social up a little bit. So that's good. There's Elphaba. Hello, darling. Hello. Are you enjoying that fruit salad? I'm going to try and remember to take like a bunch of screenshots as well, just so that we have something to look back on when she passes. I love me a good uh, remembrance slideshow. So I got to remember to take more. So we did our breakthroughs. We have work in 30 minutes. Our mood, it's fantastic. Go ahead, clean that up. Um, ideal mood focused. Okay, what's a way that we can quickly get focused? Let's go down to our lab and practice analysis really quick before we go. Oh, oh, we can go with her to work. Let's join, let's join. It's boring waiting for them to get back from work. 
I probably won't join her every single time, but for the sake of this first episode, I, I would like, I would like to join her. Okay guys, welcome to Future Sim Labs. You'll be quite busy conducting essential experiments, researching new technology, and maybe even interacting with alien life. It is your job to leverage potent scientific equipment for the purpose purposes of good, we hope. Well, welcome. Okay. I don't like this career outfit, so I'm gonna go ahead and change it. So if you guys have MC Command Center installed, um, you can change their career outfit by going into Sim Commands, modify career outfit, and it'll just take you into create a sim and you can just choose what you want your sim to wear when, when they go to work. Okay guys, this is what I came up with. I wanted a mint theme, of course, but I also wanted to make, make it look chic, so I tried to find a lab coat. And yeah, I just threw some glasses on her, cause why not? I hope you guys like her new outfit. Okay, are you ready? Are you freaking ready for your first day of work? Are you ready, Andy? I can hear you. She doesn't look ready. She doesn't look thrilled at all. And I don't blame her. Okay, so where where are we right now? I have no idea. No idea at all. I wonder I wonder if I can redo this lot i wonder if that's possible if it is i probably will and i'll probably do it off camera so for work today we need to ask a co-worker for a crystal experiment on the chemistry lab invent the momentum conserver okay uh so here are our co-workers who do we got any of your guys' sims doesn't look like it we got alice spencer kim abigail who's this yeah Oh well, it is what it is. We'll run into your guys' sim sooner or later. Who's this over here? Oh, we got Island Living Lady and Eleanor Elderberry. Okay. Hmm. I wonder who we would get along with the best. Probably her. So let's go ahead and just do a friendly introduction. She looks so extra in her cus custom work outfit. It is what it is. Hello! Talk about cool temperature. Alice Spencer Kim. Okay. <laughs> Enthuse about interest. Um, spoil latest episode. Oh no. <laughs> She's feeling depressed. Okay, how can we... How can we get, like, cheer her up? Discuss sad mood. Pleasant conversation. Okay, she's happy now. So I think now would be a good time to ask for a crystal. So what do you think? Oh, sure, I have some crest extra crystals lying around. Here you go. One citrine. Citrine, citrine. Get to know co-worker. Okay, we're definitely doing that right now. Do we have to, like, actually physically get to know? Where are you going, ma'am? We're trying to get to know you. Ah, here we go. Get to know. Oh, okay. Did she go home? No, she's right here. Oh, she went to the bathroom. La 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 la. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Here we go. Get to know. Stop talking to him. Talk to her. Oh, he's feeling flirty. No. Loves the outdoors. Okay, what do we need? Ask a co worker for a medal. All right, let's ask her. <laughs> ask for a medal. Experiment on the chemistry lab. Invent the mo momentum conserver. Okay. Gossip about co workers with Dennis Kim. Why That's him? <laughs> Why is it so freaking specific? The game was like, oh, you don't want to talk to Dennis Kim? Well, I'm gonna force you. Gossip about co-workers. Benorba KB Sebo. Benorba KB Sebo. All right, she did it. Water a plant. All right. Water. Water, and then where do we experiment? Ooh, what's this bag? Brainstorm, invent, device, momentum conserver. Well, look at us. We're killing it. Okay, you don't have to water them all. <laughs> Just gotta do the one. Here we go. Time to experiment. Oh my gosh, look at her. Look at her. She, she fits the part. Like, to the T. To the T. Oh my gosh, I love her so much already. Benorba K B C B O. Oh, there we go. Oh, that shot us up so high. Okay, um, pause. 
Audi invented, Andy invented the momentum conserver, turned it on and watched spin. Drag the momentum conserver off the invention constructor and into Andy's inventory to carry it around. Okay, we can do that. There you go. Um, okay, how do we turn it on though? Ah, here we go. Okay, we did it. We did it. View it. Okay, come view it. That's like the easiest thing we could possibly do. We did good today. Look at that. It's friggin' full. It's so full. Chat with Alice Spencer Kim. Was that our friend? She's still here. Yeah, she's, 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 she's. Hi. You know what would be fun? Ev evangelize vegetarian benefits? I mean, I guess so. Are we? Oh, we are vegetarian, aren't we? Have I been? Yeah, I've been following that. Okay, great. I think she should be our best friend, guys. How do you feel about that? Is she a young adult? She is. Okay, honestly. Oh, she agrees? No way. Maybe vegetarianism isn't as intimidating as she thought. Alice might just grab a bite to see what it's all about. <laughs> That's what's up. I could see them being friends. What about, I mean, shoot. She needs a friend. Discuss work. One of my favorite things to do is immediately find a, a best friend and, you know, build relationships so that she's not such a lonely little simmy sim. Huh. All right. Let's give her a makeover, guys. Sees a sim. Is Probably this a best friend? I, I honestly um have not looked uh, that much into this family. It looks like she has a bunch of children. Oh, she has one, one daughter. Okay. So she is creative, loves the outdoors, and is childish, and she wants to be a painter extraordinaire. Well, my darling, what are you doing in the scientist career? Anyway, so I have never given this sim a, like, a townie makeover before, so I'm kind of excited to just dive on in. Let's see what we can do for her. I wanted to do a cast series where I give every townie in The Sims a makeover, but I am so bad at like sticking with challenges. I started a 33 day cast challenge on my channel and I made it like three days and then I stopped. <laughs> I really need to continue it, but I thought about doing a townie, a townie one as well, like giving every townie, um, like an alpha CC makeover. <sighs> but I know I'll probably never finish it, so it is what it is. All right, let's give you a skin detail, love. Uh, that one looks good. Let's give you some CC teeth. Let's give you lashes. Okay, she's so pretty absolutely gorgeous all right time to find you a custom content hair she had this like split down the middle black like twisty thing to the side so i'll try and find something that's similar to that okay so this is the hair that i found which i thought was pretty close to her uh normal hair and oh my gosh you guys she has a freaking sleeve she's so cool such a cool sim and i didn't even know her traits, like painter, creative, love us, loves outdoors, just gives me the vibe that she's like super laid back, which honestly is like the exact opposite of Andy. So I think that's kind of cool. I think that, uh, I don't know, opposites attract so they'll, they'll get along well. Let's do these fun pants and then as far as shoes go, hmm. I'm honestly taking way too long on her, but it's kind of important because she's going to be our best friend. Okay, I like those. Those are nice. And I'll work on the rest of her outfits later, but I just wanted to give her that like initial makeover. Okay, so what else does she want to do? <laughs> Chat with Invention Help Constructor me. for 10 minutes. Mix synthetic food serum. Where can we do that at? Ah, uh, okay. There's one over here. No, we need this one actually. I wonder. Any plant. Okay, okay. Hold on, hold on. Pause. There's plants here that we can harvest. Let's go ahead, harvest all. Yeah, we can plant one of these in, in our planter at our house. Free plants, here we go. No, no chest, no chest, no chest. Uh, come over here and synthesize some, some synthetic food. You, get off the machine, please. Go. Okay, let's call her over then. Hey, come here. Okay, now go ahead and use the machine. <laughs> ah, perfecto. Mood. How's that synthetic food taste? 
Hmm, I like to picture maybe she's making like... Making Beyond Meat, or Impossible Meat, or Just Egg. Oh no! Oh no, she freaking failed! Holy cannoli. Um, well that wasn't good. Looks like something went horribly wrong during synthesis. Andy better be more careful next time. Okay. Um, let's replace this then. Let's try again. Come on, do this before it works over. Let's do one more task. Oh, I think she did it. <gasps> you did it! Now that's, now all that's left is to test it. Drink. Let's drink it. Andy's workday will end in one hour. She should wrap up what she's doing. Each workday can be extended once by clicking the event timer. Oh, that's cool. Oh, wait, what NAP pass? Fun-loving community? All right, that's fine. That shouldn't uh, affect our gameplay too much. Did that help with your hunger? <gasps> oh my god, that is so clutch. We need to make a bunch of those. That's amazing. All right, go ahead and use the bathroom. You've earned it. Experiment in the chemistry lab. All right, let's do that. Quickly, 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 quickly! Go, 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 quickly before the workday ends. Hurry, one more thing, one more thing, you can do it! One more thing, you can get to do it! Come on, you're almost there! Dang it, we didn't do it. Okay, Andy did a fantastic job today. It won't be long before academic prestige and scientific achievements arrive. Andy has been promoted. We already got promoted, y'all. She will now make an additional $8 an hour. Uh, we also received a money bonus, new clothes, journey to the stars, and our next shift is tomorrow at 10 a.m. Money earned 281. That's what's up, guys. We're killing it, if I do say so myself. <laughs> All right, back home we are, and you are in your- Oh my god, don't tell me we have to do the outfit all over again because she got promoted. Well, that's annoying. All right, well, long day at work. I think you deserve a bath, so come on up, have a bath, and then... What should we do? What should we do? What should we do for fun? Wait, what is that skill that you're building? What? Why are you... That's weird. Taking a bath, like, aids in breakthroughs? We need to have four breakthroughs. Okay, well, how about we come over here and watch TV for a little bit? We are not friends with Alice yet, but we'll get there. Let's chat with her. It's like, so, how was work today? I got a promotion, which is really exciting because it's only my first day. <laughs> all right, it went up a little bit. That's good. All right, and there goes her fun all the way up. So, I think for the rest of the night, we're just going to practice analysis. And then we have another day at work tomorrow, guys. What should we plant in our pot, our little plant potter thingy down here. We have snapdragons, which are quite boring, daisies, bluebells, and strawberries. I'm thinking strawberries. I love growing strawberries in The Sims. Not sure why. Probably because I really love strawberries in real life. Uh, looks like we have another element to add. Can we add this one yet? I'm very confused about why we can't add that one. Oh well. It is what it is. Let's just put it here then and uh, enable emotional aura. What is it? Focusing decor? That's what's up. Definitely need that down here. Eureka! Another breakthrough. Absolutely murdering the game. Yay! And another new element! Damn, this is our fifth element. Okay. I thought this was gonna be hard. It's not. It's not hard at all. <laughs> Especially when you only have one sim to take care of. If you guys don't watch my legacy challenge, we have a full household right now and it's so chaotic trying to like make sure everyone is doing what they're supposed to be doing. It's hard. It's really real hard. Another element. Here we go. Oh, I think we already have that one. Yeah, we did. You can go ahead and sell that. Bye bye Okay, uh, so let's call it a night. It's 4 a.m. Let's- no, don't eat strawberry! No, plant the strawberry and water it. And let's get some shut eye. Oh my god, we had another breakthrough. <laughs> That's wild. That is so crazy. Okay, time to get up. Use the bathroom. 
And what do we want to have for breakfast today? Fruit salad it is, again. <laughs> Actually, we should probably have a quick meal, because we only have an hour. Is there anything healthy in the quick meal option? Yogurt! Here we go. You wanted cereal, but no, you're gonna have yogurt. Hurry up, you only have 30 minutes! Oh, this jar of cookies is just sitting there staring at you while you have your healthy yogurt. <laughs> I think we should join her at work today. Try to work on, are you cleaning that up? Wash dishes, okay, good. Try to work on her and Alice's relationship a little bit. Make sure we get another promotion. I don't know why I'm so pumped right now. This, uh, <laughs> this Let's Play's got me like feeling some type of way. Why do you have spoiled food in your inventory? That is so not like you. I really hope it was because she got promoted that I had to redo her outfit because if I have to do this every time she goes to work, it's not worth it. All right, Andy, are you ready for another day of work? Here we go. So the first thing that we need to do is water a plant. So no, you're watering all of them already. No. Okay, there you go. You got one. Um, invent the sim ray. All right, let's do that real quick. What do we need? A metal and a crystal. Don't we have that already? Oh shoot, we need a common metal. This one's uncommon. <sighs> okay. Um, let's introduce ourselves to her and ask her for a metal then. She's heartbroken, poor baby. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Tell not safe for work joke. No, ask for metal. What do you think, what do you think, what do you think? Common, that's what I'm talking about. Here we go. Okay, perfect. This device looks like a powerful freeze ray. Give it a name, then drag the sim ray off the inven invention constructor into Andy's inventory. Okay. Okay, let's name it. Hmm, let's call it the mint, minty ray. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Into the inventory we go. What does it want? Freeze a co-worker? Are you kidding me? But why? Oh, you're off to chat with Alice? Yes, you do that. Um, I'm kind of thinking we should freeze her. Oh my word. How is that even allowed in the workplace? Oh my gosh, she's feeling flirty over there. Very cute. So what do we do now? Oh no, we got negative relationship because of what we did. Uh, crack open. Yeah, I don't want to keep her that way. Okay, she's fine. She's good. Our relationship seems fine too. All right, guys, another day at the office complete. We did not get promoted today, unfortunately, which is weird because we filled up the bar all the way again. Guess you can't get promoted two days in a row. <laughs> but we did a fantastic job. We got $375. That's what's up. All right, y'all. So when's our next day of work? When's our next day off? So we work Monday through Friday. So weekends are going to be the only time that we can, uh, you know, let our hair down. <laughs> so let's go ahead and have some dinner. I'm going to get her to have... Hmm... Mm -hmm, mm hmm what's something clean that we can have besides salad let's have some edamame that's nice and clean i just got one of those spam calls from eco lifestyle uh i got an inheritance of 2500 dollars. that's what's up i'm still so bitter about the way that this edamame looks it looks nothing like edamame not at all <laughs> not at all she doesn't look pleased about it either I think she's just tense from work. I don't know why she always sits there and eats. She could always like watch TV while she eats. Oh my gosh, look how relaxing this looks. Holy cannoli, what a mood. Especially with that backdrop. I love that so much. All right, time to use the bathroom and rest up for tomorrow. Go get num num. Go get num num. Go get it. She's actually up quite early this morning. It's 6.30 and she's already finished with her breakfast. So why don't we work out? She needs to maintain that six pack. <laughs> so I'm gonna get her to go on the treadmill. I don't have a weightlifting machine, which I should probably get her, but this will do for now. All right, there you go. All worked out, come and have a shower. You know what she should do actually? Um, 
A thoughtful shower? Shoot, no, that makes her inspired. I wish there was one that made Sims focused. That would be so clutch for this Let's Play. I'm gonna send her alone today just because we're like really close to getting promoted. I think that we can get promoted without going with her. And then when she gets back, maybe we should go out with Alice for a little night on the town. I know it's not the weekend, but I kind of want to do something fun and social in this first let this first episode. Oh, shoot. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Work hard, love. Work hard. Always work hard. Let's get that promotion. Let's go. Come on. You could do it. Get there. Get there. Get there. Come on, girl. Get there. I don't think she's going to get it. We should have went with her. We didn't get it. And we made less than we did yesterday. Oh, that's a very sad day, isn't it? Okay, well, she's feeling okay other than her fun, so I'm gonna go ahead and let's travel somewhere and go out with Alice. I placed a bunch of lots, as you guys can see, like everything is different, pretty much. I made this like neighborhood into more community lots. I switched out all the lots here as well. I put my updated Desert Bloom Park here. And I also filled up Newcrest 2 with a bunch of things, so that should be fun. I also put things in Strangerville, um, just some really nice outdoor restaurants. Hmm, we should check one of these out right now, actually. Let's go to the Outdoor Bistro with Alice, have a few drinks, get to know her a little bit, secure that best friend status. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm excited to check out this lot, though. I haven't looked at it yet. I just placed it. And this lot in Strangerville is also one of my favorites, just because of the backdrop. It's, like, such a vibe. But, yeah, let me go ahead and pause it. I'll show you guys. Just... I want to cry. Look at how gorgeous that is. Like, the lot that you place... A lot on has a lot to do oh my god how many times am I gonna say lot has a lot to do with like how it looks and how like the vibe that it gives and you guys holy cannoli this is like one of my new favorite things ever now Wow legit like ha it's so beautiful I want to cry but I'm not going to <laughs> But I'm so stoked right now. Okay, let's um, let's go ahead and let's just, I want to like just give her a hug. Say what's up. Ah, here we go. Let's give her a nice little hug and then request a table. But wait, actually I can click on a table and request. Which one do we want? Which one is the prettiest? Hmm, let's do this one. What? Okay, guess we gotta do that one. All the other ones have been claimed. Oh no, why aren't you guys getting along? Come on now. You need to calm down. Be less tense. We need to get a drink in you. Can we get a table, please? Can we get a table? Alright, this is the one we got. It's dark now. It's still absolutely pro- Can you please not? Why? Why are you sitting right next to her? I'm- <sighs> I know that a lot of you guys do this, but I don't understand the whole sitting next to each other when you go out to eat. It like, it takes so much more effort to turn and look at the person that you're with and talk to them rather than sit across from each other and talk to each other that way. I don't know, I'll never understand. All right, does Andy seem more like a red wine girl or a white wine girl? Let's get her white wine tonight and then let's get red wine for Alice here. And then what do we want to eat? What do we want to eat? Okay, it seems like a brunch restaurant. Um, definitely. Shoot, what do we get? Okay, let's get Andy a spinach for Tata. And she's vegetarian, not vegan, so I guess she can have eggs. And then for Ann, or for Alice, I mean, hmm. Let's do a veggie burger since we enthused about being a vegetarian to her at work and she was like, oh, I'll have to try it. Well, there you go, Alice. Let's freaking try it, girl. <laughs> okay, Um. let's ask her about her day. Just get to know her a bit, get that relationship up. I am a parent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, so very detailed, aren't you? Aww. 
Look at you. Oh, they're so cute. I love them so, so much. Get off your phone. That is so app so freaking rude. Please stop. Let it just please stop. Browse web? No! Talk to her. She's obsessed with her phone, I've noticed. All right, who do we got here? We got Ms. Lily Fang here with her husband. We got... Ah, uh, yes, the uh, Eco Lifestyle family. We've got... Wait, that's weird. She's here with him, and he's here with him. Interesting. I wonder if they're all together. But that is a strange place to eat, but I absolutely love that she's got... <laughs> An espresso with her quiche or whatever this is. Oh, 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 the food's here, the food's here, the food's here. Yay, so how do you feel about that veggie burger? I want to ask her about her meal. Discuss food flavors, here we go. She can be like, so, how's the veggie burger? How do you feel about going 100% veggie? What do you think, what do you think, what do you think? Oh, she's so pretty, guys. I'm a fan of them. I'm a big fan of them. It's definitely taking like a while to get <laughs> their uh, relationship up, but it's fine. All right. Well, she has a crap mood, so let's go ahead, end the meal, pay the bill, and go home and get some rest for work tomorrow. I am so stoked about this restaurant, though. It's so, so cute. It was called like Outdoor Bistro or something along those lines. And it just being on that lot in Strangerville just like took it from like a 9 out of 10 to a 15 out of 10. You know? I'm quite sad I didn't see any of your Sims out and about. It's probably going to take some time. Also, if you guys would like to update or upload some sims to my hashtag, it's just hashtag simsav. And um, I like to populate the world with your guys' sims. So if you would like to submit some sims, that's the hashtag you should use for that. Good morning, Miss Berry. Let's have some breakfast. Fruit salad again. Are her and Alice friends yet? They are finally friends. Okay, great. Yes! Yes, yes, yes. Andy has been promoted to junior tinkerer. She will now make an additional $7 per hour. She also received a cash bonus, flying saucer table lamp, new clothes, and her next shift is Friday. Fantastic. We still have the same schedule, so that's cool. Who's calling? Aw, she wants us to go over and hang out? Okay, yeah, sure, why not? Uh, wow, you guys have a lovely house. It's modern, just like, just like mine. Let's share some photos with her. Oh, you know what's a very quick way that we can get our relationship with her up? Have her take a photo with her. That, like, is a foolproof way to get Hello. relations. And can you please get out of your work clothes, my darling? Hanji! Alright, see, look, they're good friends now. Foolproof, I tell you. Absolutely foolproof. Okay, this is a very interesting house. Oh, you're introducing yourself to her daughter? Aww, friendly introduction. Tell outrageous story. Well guys, I think I'm gonna go ahead and leave this episode right here. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you enjoy Andy. I'm really, really excited to uh, get to know her more, see the way her life unfolds. <laughs> And again, if you're new here, my name is Savannah. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I hope that you decide to stick around. And yeah, I love you guys so much. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.